Stephen Curry is arguably the best shooter in NBA history. With his endless range, pretty stroke and quick release, it is one of the most beautiful things to watch. Coming back from an ankle injury that kept him out for almost a month, Curry returned against Memphis and went off for 10 three-pointers. While he revolutionizes the game of basketball and had a huge influence for little kids growing up in this generation, it will only be a matter of time before Stephen Curry surpasses Ray Allen for most threes in NBA history. What's up guys, my name is Wilson. I want to wish you guys a happy new year as the year 2018 will be even more exciting for the NBA. Which also means Stephen Curry is another year closer to chasing Ray Allen's record of most career three-pointers made. As you all know, Stephen Curry was drafted as the 7th overall pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, as the most interesting prospect at the time. After an outstanding 3-year career at Davidson, Curry finished top 5 all-time threes made at college, before moving down to number 9 with a couple of 4-year players recently surpassing him. Coming into the league, Curry proved how good of a shooter he was, knocking down 166 trays in his rookie season, compared to Ray Allen's rookie year with the Bucks hitting only 117 triples. It wasn't until the end of the 2008 season that Ray Allen hit his 2000th career three-pointer while he was almost already 33 years old at the time and completing his 12th season in the league. Stephen Curry surpassed Ray Allen's 2000 three-point mark at the age of 29 and three and a half years younger than Allen, doing so in 227 less games. Pretty remarkable, because the game has changed and every position from 1 to 5 is shooting threes, the pace will continue to be faster, and almost everybody with the exception of true centers like Rudy Gobert and Tyson Chandler don't have to shoot from outside. If you're a mediocre role player nowadays and not a good 3-point shooter, good luck lasting in the NBA. Over the years, especially towards the beginning of his career, Curry has had ankle problems in the past which caused him to miss 56 games his third season. Thankfully, Curry has been relatively healthy for the most part because of his amazing ball handling abilities and knocking down shots from spotting up, moving without the ball, a master at creating space similar to Ray Allen, and will shoot over you one on one, and will sometimes even pull up from 35 feet and nail it with ease. I don't see Steph Curry slowing down anytime soon. There's a reason why great shooters usually last longer in the NBA and will still be as effective even as they age. Just look at Ray Allen and Kyle Korver for example, and Steph has one of the top two players on his team in Kevin Durant, so that takes a lot of the pressure and heavy workload off Curry and will allow him to continue excelling at the highest level. But still in the prime of his career, Curry is averaging 4 threes a contest, and suppose he plays 40 out of the 45 remaining regular season games this year, he will have about 2170 career 3 pointers, surpassing retired and current notable players like Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, and Jamal Crawford while Korver will also move ahead and will inch closer for their place in catching Jason Terry. As Curry will continue to climb the ladder on the all-time threes list, many other future stars will likely follow his footsteps. With the high volume of threes taken in today's game, the NBA is so different from 10 years ago with teams attempting nearly 11 more threes a game than in 2008, the number has been increasing for the last 7 years and will likely keep going up. As long as Steph continues to play with stars like Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green for the next 4-5 to five years, the game will be even easier for Curry. While some nights he can create and knock down 10 threes, and those other stars will also be commanding double teams leading Curry to a lot of catch and shoot opportunities where he is so deadly. Because Golden State also plays excellent team ball and feed off from each other, the Splash Brothers shot over 40% from downtown every season of their career. When teams leave them open, they have no chance at beating Golden State whatsoever. At this pace, Curry will be rewriting the NBA history books over and over. Just look at some of his 3 point records in the regular season. Ray Allen played until he was 39, and Curry will keep piling up the trays sooner than you think. After Steph finishes off the regular season with approximately 800 less threes trailing Ray Allen, it's scary to think that after the 2019-2020 NBA season, if Curry went off like he did during his 73 win year, knocking down over 400 threes, he'll break Ray Allen's record just like that. But let's not get too crazy here, it'll be very unlikely that Curry or if anyone else for a very long time will have a season like Steph did becoming the first unanimous MVP in 2015-16. As long as Curry can stay healthy for the next 3 seasons and before his recent injury this year, Steph has not missed more than 4 regular season games in the last 5 years previous to this season. If Curry plays an average of 75 games for the next 3 seasons, it will be a combined 225 games. And if he continues to put up 4 triples per game, which averages out to exactly 300 threes a season, like he's been doing the last 2 years, 
Stephen Curry will officially pass Ray Allen for most three-pointers made all-time in the middle of the 2020-2021 NBA season. What's so amazing about that is Steph will only be 32 years old and more than likely be contending for more championships with the Warriors dynasty. I'm not a psychic by any means, but I have gotten NBA predictions right in the past, so I'll give an estimate date on when Steph will pass Ray Allen. I believe it will happen in late January of the year 2021. If Curry can consistently stay healthy and continue to knock down 4 threes a game, it will be just a little halfway through that season, and because the NBA now starts in mid-October because of the more resting, my bold prediction would be January 24th of 2021 on that Sunday. I know I'm probably totally wrong with that date, while no one can be certain if the Warriors will even play that day. I mean, 2021, damn, you guys are still probably writing 2017 on your headings. Clearly impossible to tell, just making a bold prediction. The only thing we can control is what's ahead of us in 2018, and going forward, Stephen Curry will still continue to impress us with his incredible shooting abilities, as Golden State will be on a quest for back-to-back -back titles while Curry has made 314 total threes in the postseason. Depending if the Warriors will sweep through their competition, it is very possible after the 2018 NBA Finals that Stephen Curry will surpass Ray Allen's mark of 385 total threes made in postseason history for number one all time. If you do the quick math, that's 72 more 3 pointers Curry's gotta hit and it's most likely gonna happen. Let's say Golden State sweeps round 1, Curry will finish with 16 trays and win in 5 in both the semis and conference finals while still making 4 threes a game, that's a total of 56 3 pointers. So he needs 16 more threes in the finals, where he can absolutely get that in 4 games supposed they sweep Cleveland, passing Ray Allen's postseason mark as the 3 point king. As a two-time NBA champion and having one of the most incredible journeys to get to where he is today, I do honestly believe that Steph Curry is the best shooter I have ever seen as he will pave the way for the younger generation with upcoming guys that represents his game like Trey Young from Oklahoma amongst others. There is no denying that Stephen Curry will go down as one of the most iconic and influential basketball players of our lifetime. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I know my prediction will be very close when Steph Curry will break Ray Allen's regular season 3 point record. What are your thoughts on Steph Curry? Is he a better shooter than Ray Allen? The best shooter you have ever seen? If not, who is? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.